private lab. Shame on Tesco. They've asked you to leave. Don't talk to her. Who is your superior? Tesco's finest what? Tesco's finest torture chambers? Don't touch me. I'll be going down into the gas. We're going to get a call. All right, so basically what we're going to be doing is going to, we're going five minutes down the road. There's a big supermarket headquarters there. We're going to distribute signs before we leave so you can leave with your signs. I want to try to like walk inside with the screams uh, blasting. So everyone's clear about where we are going? That's the office there. Ah. This is private area. Ah. Can you do it outside? Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, but can you give me like five minutes? I just want to tell everyone why we're protesting, and then I'll go outside for you. Is that sure a good? That's a good deal. I'm sure, pretty everyone much knows. No, 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 they don't. I'm sure they know. People of Tesco, pigs are being tortured in CO2 gas chambers, and you are not being transparent with the customers. Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Listen to the screams of pigs who are tortured in CO2 gas chambers. Listen to their screams. Where is your humanity? Where is your empathy? Where is your dignity? I retrieved this footage myself. Can you hear it? That's fine. We can hear it. It's fine. But you can hear it. Is it funny? Is it funny to you? You have to come up off private property. They're being tortured. 90% of pigs you are being can, tortured uh, in CO2. What your My company dear. works for. Please, you can come this way. Come this way. Tesco are supplying tortured pigs, excuse me, excuse me, tortured pigs sir. to customers without telling them. Aren't sir, you, you can't just as concerned? Aren't, sir, aren't you, can't you just as concerned sir. as I am come this way. with the fact come that this way. pigs are being sir, tortured? Sir, this is private land. Shame on Tesco. Shame on Tesco. Shame, shame, shame on you. Aren't you angry? Aren't you angry that animals are being tortured in your name? Where is your humanity? Listen to them screaming to death. Who is going to come out and speak to me about this issue? Are you unaware that CO2 tortures pigs? Am I supposed to believe that no one here at Tesco has seen the footage from inside, who are you, my friend? I'm the head of security here. Uh, I yeah. to let you know formally now, both of you, you've yeah. had your opportunity to make your message. Okay. You're on private property. This is private property? It is. Where's the police? The campus is private, the police are on their way. Okay, cool. Okay. So uh, where, where's where's public, where is public uh, land? The road that brings you in to make Are you your telling message. me that all of this is private land? It's all private property. Okay. Shire Park is private property. And when's so the police coming in? Do? They're on the way now. Excuse me, officer, can you please come over here? The boundary of public land will be the edge of the business park. So this road isn't even for public? No, this is part of Shire Park, which is private land. Okay. There's nothing in here that's open to the public, actually. No, this is private land. Yeah. This is all owned by Tesco. As far as I've been informed. So you don't know? I don't know what's private. So the security I told you it's all private? Yes, that's right. So you don't actually know? I've been informed by security and I'll take security's word for it. Okay. So I should take security's word for it too? I believe so, yeah. Okay. So it's time to leave now, okay? Can you ask someone from Tesco to come and talk to us? I'm from Tesco. Okay, I'm no, no, we're talking about people from the officers that make decisions. It's not going to happen today. Yeah. Okay. Be very clear, that's not going to happen today. You just need calm to do down, bro. Just relax. No, but what, just relax, bro. People's work. We're not, we are disrupting them because pigs are being tortured to death. I've been Did you not hear us? I've heard your message. Okay. But I've been very clear with you. Yeah, but why are you afraid? We're not going to gonna harm you. We're not going to leave. We're going to go to public land. That's fine, yeah. So okay. you your side to do and that. I don't need to listen to you. Okay, what I am telling you is you need to leave. Aaron, yeah. get some of Yeah, I'll just buildings. move off of Tesco's land. Well, that's private. Because they, have, you've private. asked me to leave Tesco. It doesn't matter. The private landowner has not asked me to leave their land, but you've asked me to leave your land. This footpath is not yours. 
It's not ours. Okay, great. It's right, it's, pri it's still private. There. Hello, everyone. Apparently, this p this footpath does not belong to Tesco. Okay, so I can still see Tesco from here. This is great. Can anyone hear me? Actually, the sound travels better from over here, <laughs> which is great. Thanks, thanks, uh, security. It echoes throughout the entire complex, and we want the entire complex to know, and the world, that Tesco are supplying the customer with pigs who have been tortured in CO2 gas, and they're not telling the customer. I think the customers would really like to know so they could make an informed choice. Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Do you even give a damn who supplies you with pig flesh? Do you even care that they are torturing the animals in your name? Tesco has the power to label their products accurately to force the pork companies to tell the customer that they're in fact torturing pigs to death. Every supermarket is accountable here. Why don't you lead the way as the largest supermarket to offer some transparency. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. Gas is torture, stop the slaughter. UK pig gas chamber. Look it up on YouTube. Now, look it up. See what you are marketing to customers as humane. We hope everyone in this building and this entire area know that Tesco is complicit in torturing sentient, intelligent beings. What happens to the pigs before they're cut up into pieces and put on your shelf? I wonder what's over there, man. We should blast some screams in there, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Tesco, have you seen the footage of pigs being tortured to death in their own feces? Don't touch me! Get your hand off of me. Listen very carefully to me now. Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Is it about the torture chambers? Is it about the torture chambers? If it's not about the torture chambers, I don't want to hear it. Where is our response? Where, don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. Leave her alone. Stop harassing her. Shame on Tesco. Tesco's finest what? Tesco's finest torture chambers? How do you sleep at night marketing this to consumers as Tesco's finest? I'm sure the customers would be very disappointed. Stop putting up nonsense advertising in your stores that show happy animals on green grass. Tesco, I find it very hard to believe that no one in this building knows that the pigs that you are being supplied have been tortured to death in CO2 death pits. What I think the problem is, is that you do know, but you are not telling them. Okay, we're Why aren't you again. telling them? Can I have you a moment to listen to Hey, officer, is everything all right? So just guys want to speak to you, just... What about... We want to make very clear that now is the time from both Tesco... And private security... That's now is the time that you need to leave the site, OK? It's gone on now for an hour and a half. We're communicating... It's private property, OK? I was just told we don't have to leave. I was just told by Dave that the police said we don't have to leave. I'll leave if the police say that this is... We're not getting arrested, we can keep going. Just ignore them, keep going, please don't mind. What are you talking about, dude? So why are you lying to us? I'm not lying. Is this, is this footpath private? Yes. Yeah. Right, who the owns it? You own it? Are you the Shire owner? Park Limited. Owns Are you the landowner? I'm the, man, I'm the security manager on site. Where's the landowner? They're based in London. This is a private firm. Are we going to be arrested if we, uh, or charged if we stay here? They've asked you to leave because it is private property. I'm asking you a question. Yeah. Are we going to be arrested for a crime for standing here on the sidewalk? Why well, didn't answer it? Excuse me, officer. Who is the, who's your superior? Who is your superior? 
Sir. Is this your superior, sir? Yeah, so... Excuse me, officer, is this your superior? Yes. yes. OK. just want to know if we're going to be arrested for standing on this sidewalk. That's what I want to know. No decisions are being made about any police action. Yeah, but I want to know if I'm committing a crime right now. You're, not, you're being very mysterious and dismissive right now. No, I'm being dead set. See, I'm filming you. You're being mysterious and dismissive. I just want to know if we're committing a crime. It's not my decision to take action. If you want privacy, you have to create your own privacy. Right, it's not my decision to take action. OK, I will yeah. wait for my bosses to decide what action <laughs> needs to be taken. So it's not, I can't decide, I can't tell you. It's OK, well, OK. Tell me what to move well, I just want to know from the superior. So he, it should be very clear to you as a police officer if we're committing yeah, a crime. Yeah. I want to know if I'm committed currently. Hello, are you the superior? Are we going to be arrested for standing on this? No, but that might can you Can you tell us, can you please let us know if we're about to commit an offence? Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely just, we'll just move. Because he's so telling I'm me I'm committing a crime, which is why I went to you. No, 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 no you're committing no, no, a no, civil no, trespass. No, yeah. So that's what we said. Civil, civil matter. Our officer. Civil matter. Just before you go. It's a civil matter. It's a civil matter. You've already lied to me. What I lied to you about? You say, you're saying that we've got to leave the property. Huh? We don't have to leave the property. Oh, yeah. Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame, shame, shame Can I help you, you, sir? That's what I would be no, no problems, yeah. You'd be willing to go and speak, and speak with Tesco. I would like to, if they had a spokesperson come out right. to, to talk with me, yep. we'll leave. Right. What level of, of person would be satisfied with? Well, like the other day, uh, Sainsbury's uh, director came out to us and I showed her the footage. Right. And that's she went away. That's what this sound is, isn't it? Sound out. Well, yes. Yeah. It's the sound out of a CO2 gas chamber yeah. that I recorded. That's, yeah. So we know people are going to buy the bacon, right. but they should be able to buy it in an, in an informed way. Right. Okay. And we want someone from here to make a pledge or or something right. that they are going to be transparent with their customers. Right. Okay. That's it. So you, you're not calling for the wholesale withdrawal of the product. You're we don't think that that's practical. Fine. I would like that. Yeah, no, I don't no, want people to be killed yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm with you. But I'm just, I'm just trying to, as I said earlier, I'm just trying to get my head around at, it. At minimum, right. they should tell the customer that what CO2 does to the pigs, right. at the point of purchase, people should be able to read that right. and go, or there's a sign there, just letting, warning you customers that if you are, these pigs are being caused immense suffering and fear and agony and distress by every scientific study done on this. Right, okay. And put that okay. for their customer to see. Right. So they call it happy, happy animals. Yeah. So if someone from Tesco wants to make that pledge or look into that for us, okay. then we'll leave. That little farm logo, that farmer Sean tractor thing, isn't that meant to represent approved uh, no, all those animals go to the gas chamber. RSPCA assured red tractor animals. Yeah, 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 RSPCA assured pigs go to the gas chamber. Right. And is ninety percent of all pigs go to the gas chamber, and Tesco are being supplied with gas chambers. Would that mean it's not yeah. humane washing. Is the method of slaughter is that an approved method or an unapproved method? It's a legally approved right. method. It's it's a legal slaughter. It's assured by the RSPCA. Right. And uh, it's so, now, it's been exposed. So all them red tractor stuff and that we just spoke about. I mean, if, they, if they slaughtered pigs in this fashion, would still get that, that stamp? They would even get an RSPCA stamp. Right, okay. The highest welfare animals that they sell, right. Tesco's finest, whatever it is, yeah. free range, organic, 90% of all pigs are killed in gas chambers. Right. Free range as well. Right. I'm right. fairly sure that Tesco supply 100% pigs that have been slaughtered in CO2 gas chambers. Right. They made a statement about it in 2018 that that's what they were trying to, to phase in. Right. I don't know if they've achieved that goal, right, okay. but they should at least tell the customers. Right, fine, fine, all right. I'm with you, I'm not with you, but I understand. I, I, I've got my head around that. Right. Yeah, okay, Someone we'll continue else. to protest. Yeah, exactly. uh, wow, isn't that peaceful? Isn't that peaceful when you don't have the desperate begs for mercy from the pigs who are being tortured to death in Tesco gas chambers. Is it uncomfortable hearing those screams? If it's uncomfortable for you to hear them, imagine how uncomfortable it is for the pigs who have to experience the torture. Do we have to force transparency and show as many of your customers as possible the torture chambers that supply you? Have you seen the footage that came out of Pilgrim's torture chamber? I released it nine months ago. 
It's also on Amazon Prime right now for everyone to see. Wouldn't it be a great gesture to your customers to put out a statement, to put some accurate labeling on the products, to put a sign in the meat aisle saying, hi customers, if you don't want to pay for torture, you better not buy these pigs here because they have, by every definition, been tortured in CO2 gas chambers. Watch Pignorant to find out more. I was down there talking to Tesco and I said, ultimately, your, one of your aims here is to have a meeting with someone and that you want to speak to somebody in public relations or public affairs or someone like that in relation to the, the labelling and the message that you're, you're, yeah. you're, you're here for. Yeah. I said, that can't be done today, but they're happy to take your information and for you to take their information and you can have that conversation via email or something to yeah. arrange a, a later sit down. Yeah, look, like, is, is, I'm happy for them to offer that. Okay. Uh, I'll accept that. But um, also, like, I would like them to actually do that. You know, not just say they're doing that so that we, this goes away. Right. Yeah. When you say do that, you mean honour the meeting? Honour the, yeah, honour honor, yeah. honor the communication, right. at least. Honour the communication. If they don't honour the communication, we just we have to just continue protesting and doing what we're going to do and exposing their gas chambers and showing everyone and doing... I, you know. I, I have no way to enforce the... Nah. To, to make that happen. I know, I'm just, I'm no, just letting... No, no, Tesco, you've got to understand, like, like if they... I understand your position. I, I will protest, like, all of the people who are complicit in these gas chambers, right? Um, if they say they're going to communicate about it right. and they don't, then I'm, I don't have any reason to stop protesting. Yeah, no, you know what I mean? Like, cause why would I, I'm obviously protesting for a reason. Right, okay. You know what I mean? So it's just up to them. Like, I, I would like them to say, hey, yes, at Tesco, we, we, we are going to start letting our customers know about these torture chambers that we, okay. uh, we're lying to, like, little children and parents and stuff about what they're consuming, okay. you know? I would like them to say, you know, at Tesco, we're going to take a stand, actually, and we're going to be the first to, to not bow down to the pork industry and, you know, we're going to actually put proper labelling on. If they did that, I'd be like, you know what? Thank you, Tesco. You can't stop people from buying bacon, but you can at least inform them, okay. you know? That's it. So your this uh, documentary and your um, your ultimate goal here aim is here. Yeah. It's that Tesco inform their customers. Right. Okay. My ultimate goal is that people stop murdering animals. Right. But that's neither here nor there for this discussion. This is specific to the supermarkets and their complicity right. okay. in their marketing. So if the, Tesco, obviously they have culpability, complicity, right. okay. and, and, and responsibility. The other thing that I wanted to pass along was earlier we were talking about the Red Farm and Depth Row. Red and Tractor and Red Tractor and, RSPCA RSPCA and, and all that, right? If they change their stance on the most humane way to slaughter an animal, and I appreciate that's a bit of an oxymoronic sentence. They won't. They, won't. they, they will change they will incorporate that into their into their supply. They won't change it. Okay. I know they won't. They're not going to. There's no alternative. Right. They, okay. They've known this has been horrifically cruel for 20 years, at least. The Defra's own farm farm welfare council told them to to ban it right. 20 years ago, 2003. They have it because there's no alternative. Right. Okay. They don't have an alternative. So Get, the electric stun method is worse. Right. They okay. say it's worse in many ways. Right. Okay. Now, so what you're saying, so there, I'm there, is saying a, there isn't an alternative, but educate, but inform people your... should be informed about right. what they're buying. Because right. right now at Tesco's, it says Tesco's finest, and there's all this grass and pastures and right. humane right. labelling. Right. Okay. And that, that's the problem. Okay. So if Tesco say to a customer, you know, these, these pigs were, were killed in CO2 gas, which is scientifically known to be aversive, and they, they experience asphyxiation and agony and pain and distress, right. are you happy to pay for that? Right. Now, if the customer wants to go, okay, yeah. Right, okay. Then that's the customer's so, decision. Similar, uh, similar to the warnings you get on cigarettes. Cigarette packets. Yeah. If you want to take my email, you can give it to them and see if they accept it. And if they want to, if they if they want to give me a, a contact email, I'm happy to take your email. Yeah, it's Joey Carbstrong at gmail.com.
Now that's a correspondence address for them. Right. I'm giving them one. Okay. Now, if they want to give me a correspondence okay. address, we, we, we probably can get one easily from their websites yeah. and that, but I would like a personal one. Show a face. Or someone yeah. that is willing to engage with this yeah. topic. If Tesco were to give you um, the personal email of someone to communicate with you, would that be enough for you guys to, to move on from this site yeah. today? Yeah, if you come back and, uh, with a with a correspondence email yeah. of someone who's got some power, right. we'll take that. I'll email them personally. We'll leave. Everyone in that building is a human being who has a heart. Tell me what your conscience says when you watch those pigs suffer to death in those CO2 gas chambers. Shocking. Torture. Disgusting. Cruelty. Your customers deserve to be informed. Shame on Tesco! Shame on Tesco! Shame, shame, shame on you! Shame, shame, shame on you! Where would you go from here? So once we have a email... Hey, are they, have, they, have you got the email? They're, they're going to go get, get me a business card, card of someone okay. to provide you with that. Okay. Uh, and it, where we go? We don't need to know anything more than that, do you, mate? I, I was just trying to figure out... Are you, yeah, you're, you're, are you trying to get into, you're trying to get intelligence? That's what you're doing. I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I can go for lunch. <laughs> yeah, no, you, <laughs> if we've got the business card, then we can leave the ball in Tesco's court. That would be great. While we wait for the business card, we will let you listen to the screams of the victims of CO2 gas chambers. Listen to the screams of these six-month-old pigs as they scream and beg for mercy and terror. Doesn't that sound like something out of hell? Listen to them scream! What do we have here? What do we have here? So I've got the Resilience Director. I'm Group sure. Security and Resilience Director. This is a security guard. This yeah. is a security guard. Like so this is a joke. Okay, this is what I've managed to get. What I've been explained yeah. is making a mug of you, mate. Yeah, they're making a mug of us. That's a security what? officer. Secu He's we already spoke to group security side. already. So, well, so what they want uh, is me to speak to a security officer, oh, so they can do the dirty work for them and tell us to piss off, sort of exactly, thing. Yeah. I can't speak on their behalf. I've I've had conversations security with you. Officer. I've had conversations. We just with talk to the bloody security. What he's saying to me is he's part of the senior management team. Oh. at Tesco um, okay. and that he will have that conversation with you as, uh, as we've yeah. discussed okay. with the view to have a meeting and I've, yeah, yeah, look, and I've explained uh, that. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think we can, we can actually find better emails than this ourselves yeah, if we just right. looked online. We could. Okay. But we were, we were looking for some willingness from, from Tesco to have the conversation. We can hook him into the email. Okay. We can BCC him in okay. to make sure, yeah, so they feel safer with their security officer in there. <laughs> but it's just the bloody email. What do they think we're going to do? Hack their email? I don't know. I've okay, well, well, this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to um, take this card. Okay. We're going to send, actually send the Tesco an email. Okay. And we're going to see how they respond and if they okay. do respond. And, uh, th and, and that's me giving my bit of, uh, little bit of good, good faith here. Okay. Acting in a bit of good faith, all right? So right now we're going to leave. Okay. We're going to leave. I think I'll, that's, I'll that's get... mugging us off a little bit, though. That, that's just saying that is mugging us off All a little right, bit. Because are to they see. too, they too, they too high up to, to talk to the peasants, are they? I, I couldn't. I they're too high up to talk to the peasants, aren't they? They're too high up to talk to the peasants. Yeah. But that's all right. Okay. But I appreciate you. No, this is not, not directed okay. to you or no, any no, security officers here. They, the security officers have been chatting to us, and they've had to take the brunt of this. When really, they shouldn't have to take the brunt of this. The people who are in charge of making the decisions should have to face this. Okay. But they won't. They don't. They get to sit in their comfortable office. We're reasonable people. No, and, I appreciate uh, that. We're, we're here for a serious issue. Yep. And uh, we, we'll take that gesture. And we appreciate you liaising today. Okay. We're appreciating for having our uh, right to protest uh, upheld. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's it. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. We've taken a card, Tesco. Let's be a little bit transparent here. We have a card from Matt. Group Security and Resilience Director. It doesn't sound like someone who has the power to make a difference here at Tesco. But we will take this as a gesture of goodwill and maybe something will be done. But you can expect an email and I will BCC Matt in, okay? And we'll be emailing some people at Tesco to see how they respond and if they do respond. And you will know exactly who it's from. Don't tell me you won't know who it's from, okay? They, you have my email address.
click on Amazon Prime, type in ignorant, okay? Inform yourself about this issue and please do respond to the email. Thanks for your time. It's a bit of a stitch up, but we, we know we're, we're going to take it for face value. But we're not, we're not, we're not naive. Yeah, we're not naive. It's, 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 that conduit of communication. Yeah, no, no, yeah, it is. It is. It is. Uh, it's the security doing security, but via email. That's what it is. We've been cooperative, as cooperative as angry protesters that are angry about torture can be. Yeah. You know, I think. See, because of all the protests I've been on, this, this was okay. It was. It wasn't not too bad. It was quite interesting speaking to you and your group. Okay. Thank you, mate. Are you Matt? Are you Matt? Yeah. This is your card, is it? Pardon? This is your card? Yeah. So you'll be liaising with us about this? So, look, so what I'm going to do, right, send me an email. I will then connect with the public relations team. Yeah. So that we join I'm sure the, okay. the public what, yeah. uh, what, relations team don't have their emails public not, on LinkedIn. What I'm not going to do, yeah. just so we're really clear, is if somebody comes here and walks around our lobby with megaphones demanding to speak to the public relations team. I'm not going to make that happen. We weren't, that's, that wasn't okay. just our demand. So our demand is, yeah, we were just protesting as well. We're just letting the I'll, I'll Tesco sure, know. I'll yeah. make sure that I, okay. I give yeah. you But you liaise with me email address and I'll make sure that you get connected to... No, we'll, we'll, to BCC, you in, we'll, we'll BCC you in, yeah. actually, that's fine. So, so, you, so you know who we're emailing. Yeah, as I say, all I can do is offer you my personal yeah. details to get in touch, right? Yeah, and you're I'll, a security I'll, officer. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with you, really. This is this topic's got nothing to do it, with you. It is when you're here. Doing yeah, protesting, but the, the, the topic that we're right. concerned about so, yeah. has literally nothing to do with you. It's I'm out of your hands. You're here to. With the right people yeah, we, to we can that. just do that on LinkedIn, man. Yeah. Hey, we can get everyone's email on LinkedIn. Yeah. You know what I mean? well, everyone's got a public email here. How, how do people contact them? Yeah. So, but no, we were we are only doing this as a gesture of goodwill. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. Because uh, we thought maybe if we, I gave my details, you gave yours. I don't even know if they told you to give your details or not, or you just done us so we leave. That's a little bit of a trick, a little bit of a mug, mug off a bit. But um, I'm just going to take it as fa at face value. Do that. Yeah. Anyways, okay. uh, thanks very much. Can't say we won't, you won't see us again, but um, yeah. Can't say you won't see it or hear those screams again. I can't say that. Yeah.